Not made by, represented by LoftyGaming.com. Please visit the site. Hey, my name is JP Cambiati. I'm the lead multiplayer designer on Rainbow Six Vegas 2. And today I want to talk to you guys about what's new in co-op and adversarial game modes. In Rainbow Six Vegas 2, you have a seamless co-op experience as you can complete the single player story with the help of a friend. We have a new jump in, jump out co-op play that allows for one friend to join your game in progress regardless if he or she is not as advanced as you. There are two playable characters in co-op story, Bishop and Knight. As Bishop, you will be the host and control the two Rainbow AIs. The second player, that we call Knight, is the guest. With the help of Knight, you can experience a complete story and take advantage of all the rewards available throughout the game. The PEC character customization and reward system that we talked about in the previous Dev Diary is also available in multiplayer and co-op. Each player can use their own customized character and continue to earn experience points and go up through the ranks. In co-op, you also get XP and rewards for actions performed by your AI teammates and your friend. Rainbow Six is all about variety, so we've brought back co-op terrorist hunt mode, which is playable throughout all of the multiplayer maps. Your objective is to find and eliminate all of the terrorists throughout each of the maps. In addition to the innovation we've done to the co-op story mode, the adversarial multiplayer has 13 new maps and two new game modes. We revamped a couple of classic Raven Shield maps as a way of thanking our loyal fans and as a tribute to Rainbow Six's 10th year anniversary. We also have lots of new environments including a convention center, a luxury villa, and a counter-terrorist training facility. I'm also excited to tell you about the two new adversarial game modes, Demolition and Team Leader. Demolition is a team-based mode where one team must pick up the bomb and plant it inside one of the two target sites. The other team must prevent this from happening by finding the bomb and defusing it before it blows up. In team leader mode, each team will have one player assigned as the leader, who will be visually identified by a star. You must eliminate the enemy leader and his team while protecting your own leader. Good job. You've eliminated the enemy leader. As long as the leader is alive, players of that team can respawn an unlimited amount of times. When the team leader dies, neither he nor his teammates can respawn. The team, no the team left standing wins. You can also win by escorting your leader safely to the extraction point. We've also revised the conquest mode. Now your objective is to capture and hold three satellite stations simultaneously for up to 30 seconds in order for your team to win. This creates really intense back and forth action between the two opposing teams. Dominating for most of the match doesn't mean much because the tide can turn at any moment. So it's anyone's game right up until the end. We've improved our matchmaking system so that it's easier to find and create matches online. Matches are found based on a search matrix to offer you the best possible match to join, creating a more balanced playing field. As you can see, we've got lots of new features, including a co-op mode that's true to the single player story, and two new multiplayer adversarial game modes to keep you entertained for a long time. Stay tuned, we'll have more on Rainbow Six Vegas 2 coming soon. Not made by, represented by LoftyGaming.com. Please visit the site.